What is up YouTube and welcome to this Snowpiercer breakdown and review. Now I was sadly very, very disappointed with this episode because one, dream episodes are usually, you know, pretty lame and usually pretty much filler episodes and here we did get an episode where really nothing happened. Leighton realised that, well, you know, lying isn't a good idea and the only important thing really that happened at the end was when Wilford realised that Melanie was actually alive. So we open after last week where our boy has to spend the night with the body of Pike and well he's passed out, had visions and he is put in a coma or sorry he was in a coma and he wakes up in a weird noir world where he dreams that he is dying and Bess is pretty much his mind here telling him that he's going to have to cross the border seek approval from the trail boss and he is in critical condition in the real world and goes to meet the dream Ben who can make fake papers that he needs to use to pass the border into the tail I believe with our boy Wilford. Now you've got a few singers in this cast obviously David Diggs not quite notably in Hamilton but why didn't they try, you know, a musical episode? These dream episodes work because, or usually work, because you can really lampoon the characters or really send them up. The Flash did it really, really well. Here, I was bored. I was bored the whole episode. I get what they're trying to do, trying to get Layton to realise that lying isn't good, but, you know, here we are. He is constantly warned not to mess with the tail and messing with them means that he has a death wish and people want a name from him and no one seems to trust him in this weird vision world and it's a metaphor for the real world of him messing around, messing with the tail by lying and this is pretty much his guilty conscience here with him in a coma for the past couple of hours and then back in his world he is crossing the border with Wilford and Javi and in the real world Audrey is suggested to speak to Leighton because well that's what she did with people in the night car to see if she can get through to him. Bess suggests that she does this and well Leighton gets through to the border where he has to find the cartographer who is Zara and I found that this world was pretty inconsistent it just really was a load of nonsense this episode easily possibly the worst episode we've had especially as we've had very slow burn episodes the past couple of weeks but Leighton is desperate to get back to his family which is pretty funny as the tensions rise when Leighton is almost caught and he's told that he is expendable and the meeting here that they have to go to to do a deal is with Pike Similarly to get them dull, they're arrested and attacked by LJ and the guards and Leighton is arrested and threatened with firing squad as he talks about Pike about New Eden. He was supposed to have had his lie set in stone now, but well, you know, his guilty conscience got in the way. Luckily, Audrey comes into season one night car our boy Leighton and she cuts through to him as he walks through the train in his vision to the train boss who can set him free talks to Wilford and he's told to take the gift to the tail boss. And while Wilford is in his coma, Wilford is hard at work trying to work on the theory as he thinks there is merit in this new Eden. And he's fallen line and sinker for Leighton's lie, it seems. We then get a look at Zara and Josie discussing their mutual interest and how they are now totally chill. And Josie is what looks like the train boss, but she isn't. It turns out that the train boss is Liana, the grow-up version of Leighton's infant daughter. And he wakes up realising the tale may end up killing him and his daughter however he wakes up in Aisha's room stuck in this hell of the reactor place as they fight for their lives and he wakes up seeing the tree which he's been seeing which was on a calendar questioning is this real or not so he wakes up and realizes that he cannot lead this train with a lie however we do have a certainty that well Melanie is alive we know she's coming back so there is that and Wilford talks to Alex how he worked out that Melanie could still be alive as when he was tracking them when they split up at the end of last season, he found a signal near France, but, well, that couldn't have been them and Alex and the coup because he was on, well, they were on a different continent. So that means that Melanie is still alive. She's somehow gotten to France. So, 
yeah, that's that. As we lead in to the season finale. I think the finale's next week is about two episodes. I think it might be back to back, but I could be very wrong. But overall, a bit of a stinker episode. Boring, trudging, and, well, a bit of a waste of time. But that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications on. And I'll see you soon, and goodbye.